to the top of your mat in just take a few moments here as you just continue to prepare for your practice, make your full arrival here. <clears throat> you might start with a few deep breaths, nice audible inhale, and a complete audible exhale. Release of your shoulders, yes. Then again, nice full breath in, and exhale. Just continue with slow, steady breaths, just mindful breathing, awareness of breath, as you continue to tune in, take your journey inward, and prepare for your moving practice. Of course, we start with stillness, taking this moment, perhaps just to check in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling today. what parts of your body might need some special attention today. Maybe focusing on some core strengthening in our practice, functional movement. With this practice, like with every practice, move in the way that you need to move, take your time, modify and rest whenever you need to. You don't have to do everything. Inhale to rise up all the way. 
and just a straight line in your body. And then exhale, you can bring your palms together and down into your heart, or you can bring your arms down to your side. Just hold it here for a moment, take a breath, and just do that same sequence, just making it flow. When you're ready, inhale, extend your arms up for the length and the stretch through the sides of your body. Exhale, inhale with your heart, fold forward, bend your knees as much as you need to, fold to your position. Inhale, rise up halfway to the top of your head, lead you forward, there's our flat back. Exhale, meld your way back down, natural curve of the spine, unbinding. Then your weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, lift your heart, arms out to the side, and the breath in, rise up, reach to the air, and exhale, palms together and down to your heart, or arms down to your side. Pause here, just keep checking in with your breath. Continue to move with breath, our sun salutation. Inhale, reaching all the way up to energy through your fingertips. Exhale, swan dive forward. Always okay to bend your knees. Take your time as you fold, maybe touching the ground with your toes. Inhale, rise up halfway. It's our flat back. This exhale will fold, make your way all the way down. Load up to place your hands on your mat. And just step or walk or even jump your feet back into plank pose. High push up position. Let's hold here for a few moments. This is really our first core movement. Nice lengthening through the spine and whole body as you inhale. As you exhale, continue to pull your belly button up towards your spine, engaging the abdominal wall. Inhale again, more length. This exhale, bend your knees a little, send your dips into the air, moving into downward facing dog. You might need to adjust your feet by tiptoeing forward a little bit. You can take the feet wider on your mat if that feels good. You can take your hands a little wider on your mat. Just as you did a mountain pose, you just kind of settle into the posture. You do the same thing here. You can hold for strength and energy. You can also rest if you need to. Just bring your knees to the floor. You can sit back in a child's pose. Hold the position or add movement in down dog. You might press one heel down as the other heel lifts and alternate. Receiving a stretch in the after your calves and your toes. Feel your knees bend, hip shifting side to side. Moving from here, we'll start with a nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, core connection, full belly in, then bend your knees so you can walk, step or jump. Both feet return to the top of your mat. You'll be in forward fold. Good. Inhale, lengthening through your spine. Hope you're coming forward. Help that extension. Exhale, fold again. Same weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive for a tall, reach through the air. This exhale, take chair pose or chair like position. Imagine you're sitting through that back and down into a seat. The body weight should shift back into your heels, hips, toes should be light or they could be light. Nice extension through your arms. Let's move from here, breathe in first. Exhale, dive out of your chair towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway, long spine, flat back, yes. Exhale, fold again all the way down, plant your hands into the mat, walk, step, or hop, both feet back, plank pose. Same thing, let's hold for a moment, just to continue building that good core strength. You can take that same shortcut to down dog, or finish your push-up with your exhale. Bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs as you lower your weight down. Create a back bend here by pressing hands to the floor, lifting your chest, might be up dog, or Cobra pose, then exhale and send the hips back up into the sky. Adjust your feet, adjust your hands as you need to. Arriving in your posture. Make sure your hands feel strongly pressed into the earth. So your arms are straight and strong. Dad a lunge here. Inhale, pick up your right foot, extend your right leg back behind you. Full extension. Exhale and step right foot up to the top of the mat in your right hand. Once you've landed, turn left heel to the floor behind you. Shift your weight back in that foot first, so you feel a little balanced on both feet. And then we'll rise up, hinging from hips. Inhale, you're facing forward, reaching straight up into the air. Exhale, hinge again, folding, make your way back down. Plant your hands, spread out your fingers first, then plant the hands. Slide the right foot back, plank. So spread out your fingers, just gives you a good base. Take the same shortcut to down dog, or finish the push-up. You bring your knees to the floor first, then your chest if you'd like. Back bend could be really low, like this, locust or cobra pose. 
and a good exhale, lifting hips into the sky, downward facing dog. When you're ready, other side, so picking up left foot, extend the left leg straight back, it doesn't have to look high. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Once landed, turn the right heel to the floor, shifting your weight back. So that right foot hinge should be light, so you can easily hinge from the hips, rising up, facing forward, arms straight up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Spread out your fingers, plant the hands, slide left foot back, plank, and then finish your sequence as you'd like. You can always do that shortcut. And then just meet in downward facing dog, taking your time as you move through your sequence. You can always add a child's pose. I like that. After a couple breaths and down dog, simply set your knees onto the floor, sit back briefly in hero pose, then off to the side, off the heels, so you can swing the legs out front. You might need to scoot forward so you're sitting in the center of your mat, so space behind you so you can roll down onto your back. You might draw your knees into your body, a little rocking sensation, any movement that comes naturally to you. And another check in with the breath. Since your feet are free right here, let's just get into the feet and ankles. Flex your feet. Point your toes. Circle the ankles. Do two things here. I'm going to set the feet onto the floor before we rise to bridge pose. Let's do a little core work here. Let's see if I can give some good instructions here. So just. Just situate yourself lying down, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Just kind of melt into the ground. We're just going to be moving the pelvis. I'll say rock the pelvis. Here's what we'll do as, as you inhale, you're going to tilt your pelvis forward. That means your low back will lift off the ground. Your butt will stay on the floor, but your low back will lift. I call this a low bridge. It's a little, little back bend. Right? So inhale. Then as you exhale, tilt the pelvis back towards you. Pressing the low back down into the floor. And with that tuck, you'll feel your low abs engage. Again, inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, arching the back low bridge. Exhale, scoop underneath, peel, or press the low back into the floor. Just keep doing that back and forth, forward and back. I like this exercise because it really does work your core without having to do too much. Like you can just lie down, knees bent, feet on the floor, just do that rocking of the pelvis. Want to get some mobility through the pelvis, but you're also activating those low abs. And that's really good because I call that the abdominal floor, a nice foundational strength when you engage those really low and deep internal uh, abdominal muscles. Okay, this is also going to help us get into bridge pose. So we'll continue. Then inhale, arch your back, low bridge. Exhale, press low back into the floor. Just hold that posture. The low back press into the floor, but keep breathing. Keep good pelvis still. Low back pressing into the floor. Each exhale, just feel like your belly button is pulling deeper into your own body. Like it wants to move through your body to touch the floor. Next exhale, peel your hips completely up off the floor. This will take you into bridge pose. Adjust your feet as you need to wider, something even closer, whatever you need to feel solid on the ground with both feet. And make sure the whole foot is touching the ground. It's even with the weight. With the upper body, and I rock your upper body left and right several times to get your shoulders and arms bent underneath you. And if you can, pressing the backs of your shoulders, backs of your arms even, and the back of your head into the floor to help you sustain this good lift of the upper body. This is very engaging. While you're here, still taking some nice deep breaths. You feel the legs engage, on the front and back, so your thighs, your hip flexors are working, underside, glutes and hamstrings. Take one more breath in and out. Work our way out of the pose. Just wiggle your toes forward a little bit, making space in your low back. Extend your arms straight up into the air, releasing the upper back, and then we'll roll your way down to the floor. Once you've touched ground, extend the legs out front, reach your arms behind you just to lengthen and stretch. And a couple 
Come up to seated in a moment. So you'll draw your knees into your body. You can rock your way up to seated, or you can roll to one side and press yourself up to seated. Just meet me here. We'll come to boat pose, which is another quite popular core position. Let's start here. Let's all do this. So feet flex, heels on the floor. Okay, knees bent. Just consider these your handlebars. And just hold on to your handlebars just underneath the knees and literally lift yourself up nice and tall. Imagine there's a wall behind you. Yeah, and you're sitting up nice and tall, like standing in mountain pose. Inhale to get that length. Fill up the lungs. Exhale, pull belly in. Do that again. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, pull belly in. Keep that cycle of breath. Next exhale, you're just going to lean back a little bit. Inhaling. Still lengthening now in this angled upper body. Exhaling, you can exhale through the mouth. Blow the air out, engage here. And you can stay just like this, because this is very strength building. You can lean back more if you want. You can free up your hands or continue to hold on. Or if you continue to lean back and you want your heels towards yourself a little bit, they'll just kind of you'll find that balance and the feet will just float into the air. So lots of variations of your boat pose. Okay? Knowing that here is perfect because you can still build the strength that you want here. Now, while you're here, you can always rest because we're going to stay here a little longer. Imagine you're still in this position, lying down. Right, you inhale and arch your back, and there's the space underneath. Exhale, pressing low back into the floor. And there's that pelvic tilt. So imagine, or even try to do that here in boat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, try to scoop pelvis underneath, and your pelvis will move but your engaged core muscles do work here. So let's move out of the posture. Let's breathe in like you're floating up out of the boat. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. So you can get your legs back behind you. Step back, hop back, plank. You might even still feel your core muscles engaged, and that's good. So I'll take a shortcut to down dog. Bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. Step into place with feet and hands. Another lunge sequence. Let's inhale, extend right leg up behind you. Exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat, left heel to the floor behind you. Find the balance in both feet, then lift hands, reach forward and up. Inhale, exhale, opening to the left side of the room as your warrior two. Good. Yeah, make some adjustments for a good foundation. Right knee and toes are pointing directly forward. Nice balance, left leg is mostly straight. Tall torso, outstretched arm. Let's follow the right arm forward. Angled upper body, then rotate the arms here. Reach down with the right hand, left hand reaching up. Nice opening, yeah, through the whole front body, including the pelvis here. Maybe a left side body stretch, and if you get more of that stretch, you might even reach your left hand over your head a little bit, reaching towards this front wall. Yeah. This is also good core work, you're kind of stretching the side portions of the abdominal system. Okay, let's breathe in. Exhale, we'll carefully turn towards the full floor. Fold, bring your hands to the floor. Slide right foot back, plank pose, the pause. These nice pauses are good for realigning the body. Shortcut to down dog. Bend your knees, send your hips into the air. Adjust the feet and hands. Other side when you're ready. Inhale, pick up left foot, send the left leg up and away. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Land, right heel to the floor, find center, find balance, then rise. Take your time with that transition. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, opening to the side of the room, warrior two, adjust your feet. Arriving in your pose, good, nice alignment. That's it, left knee and toes pointing forward, tall upper body, outstretched arms here from side angle. Follow your left arm forward to angle the upper half of the body, rotate the arm to each high. Reach low. Good energetic reach in the opposite directions. Include that side body stretch if you want. Right hand reaching towards the front wall. Good. Lengthening down the right side. Right foot down past the ribs. You can take a deep breath into that side body. Nice stretch with the obliques. Again, part of the abdominal system. Let's breathe in. Exhale, careful turn and fold. Hands to the floor. Back to our plank pose. Pause to realign. Take another shortcut to down dog or finish the full vinyasa if you want, or some variation of movement to get you back into downward face and dog. Hold down dog just for a couple breaths. 
Again, spread out fingers, press into the earth, strong straight arms, and the length in through your torso. Okay, nice full breath in. Exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat, even fold or fold. Inhale, we're going to extend the spine halfway lift, just halfway. Exhale, back down. Full stand, so shift weight into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan back, go tall, reach high. Exhale, bring your arms down to your side. There we go, shake loose there, there we go. All right, core, also helps with balance. We like to do tree pose here. So again, starting in mountain pose, balanced on two feet, a little softness in the knees, there we go. Start shifting your weight into your right foot, feel really rooted into the earth, yep. And inhale, get tall, so lift. Exhale, pull belly in, need that stability. And then pick up your left foot, flex the foot there. And then swing the knee out towards the side of the room, doesn't have to go all the way, just opening. And then placing the foot on the inside of your standing leg. I always go to my calf, you can go higher, or lower, use the floor if you want. Inhale, let's get tall by extending the arms into the sky. Exhale, don't forget, pull belly in. Now this is another pose where you might need to, you might not need to do a pelvic tilt. I do. Exhaling to kind of tug pelvis underneath to help engage, especially in the low belly. That's our foundation of balance and strength. You may not need to do that while you're in this pose. But if you feel, I'm going to exaggerate this, if you feel like you're like this in your posture, then you want to tuck that under. Okay? Keep the arms extended. We'll swing the left knee forward, lifting your knee with the flexed foot, plant the foot into the ground, and bring your arms back down by your side. You can shake that loose and walk it out. We're all shaped very differently through this area. You might be just kind of straight up and down already. Okay? I've got an interior tilt right there, so I have to really side, soft knees, shifting weight into your left foot, and inhale, let's get tall first, exhale, lock it in. That's our stabiliz stabilization, so we're going to pick up the right foot, flex the foot, that will keep the leg strong, swing the knee out, and then place foot on the inside of the other leg. Inhale, reach up, get tall, lift, exhale, and tuck if need be. Again, using that Bridge pose is reference, where we're just lying on the floor in that pelvic tilt. That's our reference for that little pelvic rock. You might even feel your glutes engage a little bit. That helps too. And just think of all that functional support we're creating in this part of the body. Okay, keep the arms extended. We'll swing the right knee forward, lift your knee flexed foot, plant the foot down, arms come down, and walk it out, shake it out. Exhale, swan, dive forward. So we'll get a bend knees, make your way down. Inhale, rise up halfway, crown comes forward. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, plant your hands, spread out your fingers. Hop or step back, plank pose, come down if you'd like. Chaturanga Dandasana, or some variation of flow. Up dog or cobra, to create a back bend. Exhale, we'll always knee and downward facing dog. Let's continue, inhale, extend right leg up. You're going to bend the right knee, bring your heel down towards your back side, a little lift of the knee. Help twist the spine or turn your torso a little bit towards the right side of the room. It's more of a hip opener. And a twist here, I'm going to call it a core twist. You're going to breathe in right where you are. Exhale, bring your right knee down and underneath you towards your left elbow. Cross the body towards left elbow. Doesn't have to touch it, just points in that direction. Inhale, take the right leg straight up and back behind you. Exhale, right foot now steps to the top of the mat. Lift your right hand, left heel to the floor behind you. Find balance. Inhale, rise up, first warrior. Exhale, open to your warrior two. So in. Let's reverse the warrior here. So flip the right palm up, reach up into the air. So the left hand might just rest on your left leg behind you, or you can place your left hand on the left hip. This might support the body a bit more. Lunge in this front knee. Good 
reach through this right arm. Again, just lengthening, stretching through the obliques, ribs, the side body. Let's come back to warrior two. Right there, we do what I call victorious warrior. Follow your right arm forward, angled upper body, stay here. Right arm stays right where it is, bring your left arm up and around. Turn your palms so they face each other like you're holding a big beach ball. Good. And extend and reach like you're reaching out to present or give away that beach ball. Mm -hmm. Good extension. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth here. <sighs> Feel your core body engage, sides and front. <sighs> Good. Inhale. Exhale, turn your body towards the floor, fold, spread out your fingers, plant the hands, slide right foot the back. There's plank. Finish the sequence as you'd like. If you need a little pause right here, that's perfect. You're taking a rest, just take the time that you need and just join in when you're ready. Other side, inhale to extend left leg into the air. We're bending this knee, heel down towards the back side, a little lift of the knee. Or twisted spine, just a slight rotation, hip opener. Ready for our core twist. Breathe in, exhale, send right knee, I'm sorry, left knee underneath you towards your right elbow. Then inhale, take it straight up into the sky behind you, return to down dog. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, landing with your left hand, right foot to the floor, balance, light hands, so you can float up first, warrior. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Settle in, good balance and strength. Reverse the warrior, left palm turns up, reach up, maybe even slightly behind you, that feels okay. Again, right hand might rest on your leg, or hand on the hip for a little hip and back support. Lunging forward, the knee, left hand reaching high. Take a breath so you can feel what's happening through the side body. Let's come back to a warrior two. Take our victorious warrior. So let's lean forward, reaching out. Keep the left hand here, but bring the right arm up and around. Palms face each other, grab your beach ball, and present it. Nice extension through the arms. And the lower you go at this angle, more tension is built, a little bit more challenging. You start to turn a little bit more sideways, even feel like you're turning towards the ceiling, even more powerful. Let's breathe in. Exhale, carefully turn, fold, spread your fingers, plant your hands, slide left foot back, don't forget that pause for realignment, and then finish your flow. Take a moment to downward face the dog, you know, you're going to take child's pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, walk, step, or hop. Both feet again return to the top of the mat to your forward fold. Inhale, re extend the spine, just rise the pathway. Exhale, fold again. Nice. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan back. Go tall, reach up into the air. Exhale, arms down to your side. A little break right here, shake things out. So we had a little twist. So we did that core twist. And so this is our core twist. That right leg went up. Bend the knee, we're opening the underneath, crossing the midline, right knee towards the opposite elbow. Is that the touch in? But you can see I'm in the rotation. Okay. So let's do chair pose and just add a twist. So back to our mountain pose, nice and tall. Inhale when you're ready, reaching both arms up. Exhale, take chair pose. As you're taking your seat, you can bring hands to heart center. Inhale, the length of the spine. Exhale, engage the abdominal lock, pulling belly button in. Then a slight and mild rotation to your right. You don't have to turn too much. Even a little bit does a lot. Okay, still obliques. Just knowing that it's your oblique muscles, a part of your core system that even allows you to rotate and then hold that rotation. It all takes core. So even just a little bit does a lot. Let's breathe in, exhale, unwind. Go ahead and place your hands on your thighs. Push into your thighs to help you stand up tall. And take the arms up. Let's go right back into a chair pose as you exhale, hands to heart. So into the seat, the balance. Inhale, re extend the spine in your seated position. Exhale, pull belly in. Now your mild rotation to the left. Even if you can go far, you know, 
into the twist. You really don't need to, okay? Don't need to force it. Don't need to shock or overwhelm the body. It's enough of that already, I'm sure. But just some mild rotation, so you can focus more on the breathing and how the breath is helping you to hold the posture, engage your muscles. Let's breathe in. Exhale, unwind. Hands on thighs. This time it's going to slide down the legs to forward fold. Even hold there for a moment just to feel that release. You really have to hold yourself strongly in those chair poses with the rotations. Just rise halfway. Inhale. Back to the floor on the exhale. Palms to the ground. Hop or step back into plank pose. Come down if you want to. Chaturanga Dandasana. Modify that if you want. Cobra or up dog. And with your inhale, exhale, knee in downward face dog. Add that core twist again. So inhale, extend your right leg up. Bend and twist. Okay. Then the exhale, right knee underneath you towards the left elbow. Inhale, take it back up into the sky. Bend and twist. We'll do that again. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Take it back up to the sky. Straight line through the leg of the sun. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Stay here for a second. Shifting your body weight back. We're going to keep the left heel lifted because we're going to rise to a high lunge. So be sure all ten toes are pointing forward. You've found your center. And inhale, we're hinge from hips and rise up. So we'll be here in our high lunge. We'll reach high and lunge low. Again, the left heel is lifted. All ten toes are pointing forward. Your hips, everything's facing forward here. If you lunge a little deeper, yeah, you're getting that nice hip flexor stretch. Let's rise up, straighten the legs. Pivot left heel to the floor. You'll turn sideways too. Bring your arms down to parallel. Keep the right leg straight because we're going to set this up for triangle pose. So your right set of toes are pointing towards this front wall. Then we'll reach out over the right leg. There you go. Rotate here. So the triangle pose. Just give a little hamstring stretch. Good breathing, good openings of the body. Extension to the spine. Exhale, tip your way back up, still twisted. Tall, unwind. Come all the way around so you're facing the left side of the room. Let's bend the right knee, lunge. Reverse your warrior, right palm up. Big windmill all the way around and down to the floor in front. Let's step back into plank pose. Let's take a little pause here. Let's bring the knees to the floor. And while we're on our hands and knees, just kind of shift your whole body over to the left edge of your mat. Left edge of your mat. And then sit back into hero pose. We're going to do another, another twist here. So since you have the room on your right side, sit off to the right side. If you have a block, go ahead and sit on the block. Or sit on the floor if that feels okay. If you were still facing forward, just have the hips displaced. Maybe use your fingertips on the right side of your body here, pushing into the floor to help you get nice and tall. 
Inhale. Exhale, pull belly in, and then rotate. See if you can shift the belly button. That's what's really trying to turn and twist to your right side. And we're still working on this low core area. These rotations, again, are helping with the obliques. They're also nice stretches for the abdominal muscle system. Just a couple more breaths here. And again, just like every other rotation, you don't have to go too far. One more breath. To come out of this pose, the wall that you're facing, just crawl towards that wall. Okay. And then climb or crawl back up to the top of the mat. Okay. Use your block if it's there and shift your body to the center of your mat. Tuck your toes. Cat cow, starting with cow. Inhale is the cow pose. Exhale, round it out into cat. Hold cat, keep breathing. Okay, this is very similar to what you were doing on the floor on your back, right? You tilt your pelvis, and then exhale, you are pressing your low back into the floor, belly button pulling down towards your spine. In this case, you're pulling up towards your spine. Just hold that cat, round the position. You're still breathing. You're engaging muscle. This is another good core strengthening posture. Breathe in again. In the exhale, toes are tucked, lift your knees, hips, and hips, downward facing dog. So the whole segment on the other side. So inhale, extend left leg into the air, bend and twist open. Exhale, left knee underneath you towards your right elbow. This time, core twist, you're gonna do it again. So inhale, take it back up, bend and twist. Exhale, core twist, left knee, right elbow. Back up into the sky, inhale, straight leg. High lunge. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Landing, shifting your body with back for balance. Right heel stays lifted, all ten toes pointing forward. And inhale to rise up. Exhale to settle into the posture. Reach high, lunge low. See, I like to think of this pose as another balancing posture since you don't have a whole foot on the ground. You've got a balance back there. We're going to rise up, straighten the legs, prep for triangle. Pivot right heel to the floor, you'll turn sideways, arms come down. Just reach out over the left leg, rotate the arms, reach high and low. So our triangle pose here, guys. With this lengthening of this left leg and the little hamstring stretch. Basically, you're going to do the same thing. We go on the right side. So let's take a breath in. Exhale, tip your weight back up. That's it, again, core strength, reach your back up. Rotate to face the front of the room with airplane wings. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, fold. And if you want to bring the arms down, that's fine. Because the arms and shoulders can be really tired here. Again, feeling like you're being held at the hips, you're being drawn back. Inhale, more length of the torso. Exhale, hinge your weight back up. Get more core strength. And then continue turning to your left until you just naturally stop. Inhale, reach out for the arms, get tall. Exhale, tip, right hand down. Maybe you don't touch anything. Maybe the hand is just down. Or you can catch the shin or your knee. Again, left hand just out to the side. This is about balance, core stability. So it is an aqua pose. Inhale first, more length. Exhale, tip back up, still in the rotation. And then come through the unwind, all the way back to this original place. Bend your left knee, lunge. Reverse your warrior, left hand in the air, so you're going to side stretch, left hand into the sky again. Inhale. Exhale, unwind, all the way around and down to the floor in front. Let's step back into plank pose. Once again, finish the segment as you like. We can do our little mermaid twist. So let's meet me in down dog. Then bring your knees to the floor. Scoot over to the right edge of your mat. Sit back. And then off to the side. You can use a block if you need a little lift in the hip. Hands over to your left side, popped up on your fingertips. 
Inhale, get nice and tall. Exhale, pull belly in. See if you should actually turn this part of the body. It may not turn a lot, okay, that's okay. Then you want to feel in the belly, your ribs, chest, shoulder, and head to follow the, the line of that rotation. Again, not needing to go too far. Again, focusing more on the belly, low area of the torso, maybe even the rib cage area where the abdominal will work. Just two more breaths here. From the wall that you're facing, the windows that you're facing, just crawl out towards the windows or the wall. Crawl back up to the top of your mat. Scoop yourself back to center. Cat cow. Several breaths here. So inhale. There's our arch back. If you're relying on your back, it's that little bridge. Exhale, round it out to cat. Okay? Now just keep flowing with that. Okay, remember this sensation. So we are going to go onto our backs again. So you can repeat what we did earlier. Finish the breath that you're on, take one more. After this breath, just come back to neutral for a moment, a little tabletop position. And we're just going to take a seat, so sit back in the hero, off to the side, legs around in the front, to the center of your mat. And go ahead and roll down onto your back, drawing knees in initially, and then we'll set the feet onto the floor. Okay, stay grounded here. So we're basically just going to repeat cat and cow. And just like we did at the beginning of our practice when we came to this position. So inhale, arch your back, tilt the pelvis forward, create that low bridge. Exhale, press low back into the floor, tucking the pelvis under. Keep moving. Inhale, arch. Exhale, blow the air out of your mouth. Feel the air leave your belly so you can feel the muscles engaged there. One more time, inhale, arch. Exhale, scoop or press low back into the floor. Now keep breathing, but hold this posture. Keep pressing low back into the floor. Pelvis is tucked. The posterior tilt of the pelvis. Low belly or belly button is pulling down towards spine. You're still breathing, engaging those abdominal muscles. Take another breath in. This exhale, lift hips into the sky, back to our bridge pose. Again, rocking left and right, get the shoulders and arms underneath you. Press into the floor with the feet, as well as the back of your arms and shoulders, perhaps lifting a little bit higher. So back bends are also considered core work. Your core is your whole torso. Just your abdominal system. Two more breaths. After your second breath, let's wiggle the feet forward a little bit, making the space to get out of the pose safely. Extend your arms up into the air, then roll your way down. Okay, stretch. Extend the arms behind you, legs out front. You can add some movement here, like kind of bend through the body like you're a banana. Okay, a little bend in the body. Rise back up to seated so you can draw knees into your body, rock your way up, roll to your side, press yourself up. Let's come back to our boat pose. Okay, again, choose where you want to be. You can start here, you can stay here, okay, or gradually make your way into something new perhaps. Maybe you want to lift the feet, maybe you want to free up the hands, even if it's just for one breath. You can hold on again. Wherever you are, see if you can continue lengthening through spine. If you feel like you're rounding and dropping out of the pose, just hold on, backtrack a little bit, and just re-extend your torso. Gather your breath, lean back a little bit. Keep the feet on the floor, so you can always backtrack. If you want to try extending the legs, point your toes, free your hands. This is a little bit more challenging. I usually don't hold that for very long. Okay, we're going to move here. Breathe in. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. Hop or step back, plank pose. 
Let's hold here for length and strength. Set your right knee onto the floor, directly underneath your hip. Swing your right foot off to the right side for balance, what I call the kickstand. Open your whole body towards the left side of the room, side plank. Nice extension to this left arm. You can keep it there or reach overhead towards the front of the room. Side stretch, if you'd like, flex your left foot behind you and lift the foot up off the floor, because this is an option. You can keep it on the floor for a nice anchor and balance. Okay, breathe in. Exhale as we turn to the earth. Left hand and left knee. Bring the right foot back in. Cat cow. Inhale, look head and heart, arms to back. Pay attention to the exhale. This is your core work right here. Pull belly button up towards spine. Do it again so you can have that full attention. Inhale, arms to back. Cat, exhale, cat. Come back to neutral. Let's make a kickstand with the left foot. Extend the right leg back, opening up to the right side of the room. Side plank variation. Nice opening initially. Keep it there or extend right arm overhead. Reach for the side body stretch. Find balance, maybe flexing right foot and lift the foot, just an option. We'll breathe in. Exhale and then a slow return to the earth. Right hand, right knee, left foot comes back in. Another set of cat and cow. Lift head and heart, arching to the back. Exhale, paying attention to the core work here. Two more. We're going to move right away into the next flow. Make sure you've spread out your fingers. You can step the hands forward slightly. Tuck your toes. Then exhale, lift knees and hips into the sky. Feel a nice extension of the spine. Here we go. Inhale, extend right leg up. Bend and twist. Core twist on the exhale, right knee, left elbow. And then two more times. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, core twist. Last one. Inhale, bend and twist. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, re extend the right leg up into the sky behind you, straight line. Right foot to the top of the mat. Back to our warrior one. So left heel turns to the floor behind you. Shift your body weight back, find that balance. Rise up. Exhale, opening warrior two. Victorious warrior, reach out forward, angle upper body. Keep the right hand here. Left hand comes up and around. Grab your beach ball. Reach out, extend. Inhale, stay here. Stay here on the exhale too. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale. We'll move on this next one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, turn. Fold, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. If you need to rest, please do so. We're gonna continue. Right side plank, right hand stays on the floor, opening up to the left side of the room. You can do exactly what we did earlier. You could bring the right knee to the floor if you want to. Yes. Okay, with the left foot, just step it forward so it's on the floor in front of your right foot. And if you're in side plank, you're gonna inhale here, Exhale, twist or thread the needle. Your left arm's gonna go down behind your right arm, reaching the other side of the room like this. Inhale, reopen. Good. Exhale, bring the left hand to the floor. Come up onto your tiptoes. Set your knees onto the floor. Let's get off the hands for a moment. Sit back in a child's pose. Just for a brief recess. Off the hands. twist in there in our side planks. So if you want to lift your head and just take a peek at what we just did. So this is our side plank. I step my top foot forward so I have more balance. Inhale to open. Exhale, there was my rotation here. If your knee was on the floor, you can kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to inhale, open. Exhale, just rotate. Just knowing that you're rotating through the torso here and just reaching the other side of the room. So from our child's pose, let's come back up to hands and knees. 
Tuck toes, lift knees and hips. Downward facing dog. Other side. Inhale, extend left leg up and away. Bend and twist. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Do it three times. Inhale, bend and twist up and away. Exhale, underneath. One more. Inhale, up, bend and twist. Exhale, underneath, core twist. Inhale, re extend, left leg up and away. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Right hand plants, walk your center, then rise. Exhale, opening to warrior two. That's it, we're settling in. Victorious warrior, reaching out, angle upper body, bring the right arm up and around, grab your beach ball, and extend. Inhale for more extension, stay here on the exhale, breathe out, come out. Again, breathe in, exhale. Moving on this next breath, inhale first, exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor, back to plank pose. Left side plank. So left hand stays on the floor, open up sideways. Yes, you can bring the right knee to the ground. Hold here for a moment for strength and balance. If your feet are stacked, you're stepping the right foot forward. So you have a little more stability. Inhale, open up more. Exhale, thread the needle or twist. Feel the torso rotate as you reach to the other side of the room. Inhale, reopen. Exhale, plant the hand on the floor. Back on the tiptoes, set the knees onto the floor, and then return to your child's pose or hero pose. Nice. Catch your breath. A lot of work on your hands. We're going to take a moment in hero, just a little counter stretch you out for your wrists and hands, and your fingers and elbows. Check your breath. No rush to move. We'll stay in child's pose a little longer if you like, but when you are ready, you'll probably rise up and you'll lie down. So you sit, sit to the side. Let's get the legs out front. Same setup. Sit in the center, roll back, knees to body. Add some movement here. Breath. Check in with feet. Check in with your wrists and hands again. And then choose a hip opener. It could be happy baby pose, flying cobbler's pose, any other movement or posture that just provides a, a light stretch in the inner legs. Hips. Another opportunity to just to check in with breath, especially if you feel a little out of breath. As best as you can, return to deep breathing. Child's pose, that's also perfect. Whenever you feel complete with your hip openers, or wherever you happen to be, just add a twist. Just going to take a regular spinal twist. Knees come together, but I send both knees over to the left side, extending right arm out to the right side. This doesn't have to be too engaged like our other rotations, it's a little bit more softening and relaxing, more of a stretch quality.
body in motion and slowly and carefully roll to one side of your body. You might briefly pause in this nurturing pose. Never move too quickly. Gently slowly rise to a seated position. down by your side, your hands can rest on your knees, or in your lap, or you can bring hands to your heart center. Where you are, just take one more full breath in, fill up your heart space, exhale completely. As we come to the close of our practice together, we bow, say, Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.